Welcome to Everything Arsenal. That is how you start a Premier League season. Three points and a clean sheet to put you top of the table. It didn't work this time, Premier League. It didn't work this time. You always put Arsenal to play the first game so that you go bottom of the table. Jokes on you. This time, it's top of the table against Crystal Palace. What a win, guys. What an absolute win. What a crazy win, man. I mean, the second half, I was getting a bit wide. I was definitely getting a bit wide, especially those last 10 minutes. You, you could definitely realize that the Premier League is back. The last 10 minutes, very tough away game. You're very scared. Zaha is starting to have the ball. He's starting to dive in the box as usual. As is starting to control some stuff there. But we really needed that second goal, and we got it at the perfect moment. What a difference this one makes, man. Crystal Palace, first of all, we've won a game that we didn't win last season. If we end up winning other games that we won last season, that is top four, if it makes sense. So what a win, man. 2-0 against Crystal Palace. I could not ask for anything better. And man, can we talk about that defense? Like I've told guys with Saliba there, with Gabriel there, with Ben White there, with Ramsdale there, with Zinchenko there, with Pat in the middle. You cannot concede a goal, I'm telling you. Like, did you see how good Saliba was? Like, we've had to wait three years to see this guy play. And what an absolute beast he is, man. The tackles, the heading, the, the pace, everything about him was perfect. Even White, apart from the yellow card, we'll talk about that later. He was very good. It's not easy to deal with Zaha the entire game. And Ben White did it. Ben White did it. And he did it very well. The tackles with Gabriel as well. I mean, there's a couple of times we could have given away penalties, like four or five times I asked for penalties. But apart from that, what a beast, man. I've put a poll in the chat asking who was your man of the match. Was it Ramdale? He was a bit shaky in terms of I'm um, taking too long to kick the ball. But the saves, he basically got us the three points uh, with the saves. Ramsdale, two, three very crucial saves. Saliba, was it Zinchenko? Was it any other player? Do you think Jesus played um, well enough? Do you think Saka played well enough? Do you think Martinelli played well enough? What a win, man. I'm very, very happy. I am buzzing. Top of the table. I've not got to see the table yet, but I know we are top of the table. After the first game of the season, these guys were incredible again today. And we started the game off very well, just like we wanted, as always. So let me start by the team news and everything, and then we'll go from there. Team news reaction and the player ratings at the end. Make sure to hit the like button if you're buzzing just like me. Top of the table, guys. Don't forget. This was Arsenal's lineup today. Ramsdale in goal, we expected that. Um, ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, and Zinchenko. And I've always been saying as well, even if Tomias returns, I don't think it's as easy as Tomiyasu comes back and White is on the bench. I think White, almost White has to be in this team. I think Tomias is going to be on the bench and Ben White playing at right back. I've said this before today's game because he's not made any mistakes really. He's played really well there. He has the pace. Um, the attacking potential, not that much, but he's very good at passing and he's very good at defending. It's basically like having an extra center back there without playing a back five, if that makes sense. Um, Zinchenko at left back, what a debut. If you had him in your FPL team, congratulations, man. Like that guy got a clean sheet and a assist as well very very good and he got subbed off before um if, even if they scored last minute he was already subbed off thomas party thomas party the way he controlled that midfield oh my goodness i'm telling you if thomas party is not in that squad we're in big trouble like the quality is too high from him jaka um same old shaka a bit of complaining that i don't like a bit of silly yellow cards um odegaard was also there um i will talk about odegaard though i mean kind of frustrated me a couple of times suck on the right jesus and martinelli absolute beast of a squad the first team if you have that team fit for the entire season you're definitely going to get top four the problem is players getting tired players getting injuries and all that that is the only problem affecting us and then on the bench as I expected we didn't make all five subs so we had Tana TN who came on Cedric Holding, El Nini Lokonga, who came on, Pepe Nkete, who came in, and Nelson, who didn't come on. As I told you earlier on, Cookie, I didn't expect Nelson to come on in this one. It's never easy to go to Crystal Palace. We know that. Uh, last season, he got smacked 3 0. And I think four years ago, he got smacked 3 0 again when they had Townsend. So this was their squad. They had Guaita, Mitchell, Guehi. Thank you very much for the goal. Guehi, Anderson, Klein. Shloop, Dukure, Eze, Ayu, Zaha, and Edward. Like, man, Zaha is... Listen, if you, if you had to give me... The only reason I've never really liked Zaha is because of the too much complaining. It kind of reminds me of Gwenduzi and all that. I really don't like players who keep complaining every time. It's like Bruno Fernandes at Man United. Like, you spend 80% of your energy complaining and 20% playing. He's a very good player. He can dribble past you whenever he wants. Okay, not Ben White. <clears throat> ben White is too good for him and Saliba as well. But in terms of just being a threat, like, every time Zaha had the ball, I was just praying, like, please, let not something happen, because he's very good like that. And then on their bench, they had Johnston, Ward, Richards, Milivojevic, Riedewald, Hughes, um, Eboy, Mateta, and Plant. So, 
at the beginning of the game, I had predicted 2-1 to Arsenal. I thought they were definitely going to score, and they should have. If it wasn't for Ramsdale for those saves from the header and uh, in the second half, they should have really scored. They are a threat. But um, as I had someone say last time, it's very good to play Crystal Palace in the first games of the season because they are not ready. Um, they've not pre prepared very well in the preseason like us. We've been better than them in preseason and all that. So they are not ready, and you could see it. The first five minutes, we created a chance. Jesus ran past five, six players. And Martinelli, I knew players were good. Uh, fans are start saying, start saying um, Martinelli is not clinical enough. I've had people saying that during preseason. Yes, he should have scored that goal in the third minute. And I was very annoyed because you need that early early um, goal to just relax everything. New season, calm down. You got the, you get the early um, breakthrough. And it was a very good run from Jesus. He had done everything basically for us. And then it fell to Martinelli and he missed it. But we were playing very, very well. Within the first 10 minutes, we had three shots from Zinchenko. We had a Martinelli chance as well. And then finally came the goal. We were putting the pressure on them. And finally came the goal. What did I say in the match build-up? Just check the match build-up and hear what he said about Arsenal and set pieces. Um, I think it was you, Cookie, who said um, Cedric should not be in this team. And I told you those guys with Cedric and Saka and Smith throw these days from the corners. They're very good corners. And these days we score from a lot of corners. What happened today again? We scored from a corner. Last season we scored from a lot. Like that was not Arsenal. Like like last season, Gabriel scored five goals. Um, Holding scored. Chamber scored. Um, party scored from two corners as well. We score a lot of corners these days. And this season, we've started the season very well, again, for scoring from a corner, Zinchenko. And the way Zinchenko, you can tell Zinchenko has the mentality that most players don't have. Like the way he was just hiding behind the referee and just waited for the corner to be taken, then ran to space where he was all alone, where there was no marker was going to get to him. And then the presence of not just, you know, not just um, trying to hit the ball on target or something, no. He tried to control it and he controlled it and he brought it back in for Martinelli to score. And I was very happy for Martinelli, man. It's going to be a big season for him. Uh, when I did um, the predictions with Bavs, he said it's going to, it's going to be a big season for Martinelli and Ketia. He actually predicted Martinelli will have the most assists this season. I say it's Saka, but I'm, I think Martinelli is going to have a lot of goals and assists this season. I think this is a season he's going to play a lot alongside um, the likes of, obviously, Jesus and everything. And he has a very good connection with Jesus and he's looking very happy. This is another player I really want us to give a new contract to. Martinelli and Saka all at the same time. They need to both stay. And that was a very, very good start. Zinchenko got an assist in the first 20 minutes of his Arsenal career in the Premier League. Very, very good to see. And then from that, we kind of fell off a bit and Ramsdale made a couple of errors and he needs to be careful because um, the thing is, if a team plays very well against you and then they end up scoring a goal, that is fine. But when a team does nothing and then you give them a chance, that is what I don't like. And that is what was happening today with Ramsdale. He almost gave, gave them two chances which I don't mind. Listen, that is our way of playing, playing from the back. But if it doesn't work the first time, the second time you just need to clear the ball. But hey, he still um, he still played well after that. I actually gave him a very high rating in the match. But those couple of mistakes were very crucial and almost cost us. But after that, Saliba, the defending from Saliba, it was almost a Saliba show from there on. They didn't attack that much, but when they attacked, Saliba is just amazing. Like, I don't know. Is it? Uh, did he wait too long to bring Saliba, or do you think he needed that experience for those three years? Because he's come back a man. He came here 18 years of age. He's come back at 21, and he's looking very, very good. Like I've watched, I've just watched a game with someone who doesn't really recognize Saliba that much, and they asked me how old is Saliba. Is Saliba like 25? I told them no. Saliba is 21, so he actually looks like a 25 year old, 26 year old. He looks very experienced, but he's only 21. If he stays here, like the likes of Tony Adams and all those guys who stayed at Arsenal, we are looking at Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel for the next 10 years clean. That would be amazing, like the way Terry and Cavalier have Chelsea and all those guys. So Saliba's defending was exceptional in that first half. Zinchenko as well, the, uh, the tackles and everything. Ramsdale made that first save in the first minute from that, um, from that free kick. Now, we know Ramsdale can make a couple of mistakes here and there. But when it comes to short stopping, same applies to Leno before he left. I always say when it comes to short stopping, those guys are good. Those guys will save the shots. I, I have no doubt of that. And that is exactly what Ramsdale did. Any chance that came there, he saved it. Yes, he'll make a couple of mistakes with his foot. But when it comes to saving, you're guaranteed that he's going to keep a clean sheet. So I was really, really happy with that from Ramsdale. And then um, Xhaka. Can we talk about Xhaka? Why the hell was Xhaka trying to dive, man? That was such an obvious dive. Like, you're not Wilfred Zaha, Shaka, doing that. That was a very silly yellow card, man. And now, 
by the time we get to the sixth game of the season, Jacques is already suspended because of too many yellow cards. Now, very unnecessary yellow cards. If you foul someone because they're going to score, fine. But diving, really, Jacques? Jacques is now diving. Like, we are worried about Jacques getting yellow cards from complaining about diving, really. And he didn't even argue after that because he knew it was a clear dive. But hey, uh, from the rest of the game, he was okay. But that dive was very unnecessary. Let me know um, in the chat as well who was your man of the match. Keep voting. And then from that, it was halftime. Um, I did say I didn't expect us to make all five subs to Today, I did not expect all five subs to be made today at all. Um, I, th I thought those, that was going to, our to be our first team. And with smith -Row not there, and with Fabio Vera not there, and with Tierney um, not 100% fit and Tom Yasu, we don't expect all these players um, to be subbed on and subbed off. But when all those players are, are fit, then we expect Party to get a couple of uh, rests here and there. We expect um, Saka to get a, a few rests and um, Jesus maybe. But Saliba, Ben White, all these guys, oh, man, you don't need to sub them off, man. It's just absolutely fantastic in the second half Ramsdale made yet another save that's a good goalkeeper man let's be honest none of us expected Ramsdale to be as good as this man from last season to now none of none of us expected this guy to be that good and this defense put together absolutely fantastic and you add Saliba to that and you add Zinchenko to that Tieni that's a fantastic defense. Now, last season, I thought defense was really good, especially in the first half of the season. We kept a lot of clean sheets until Tommy Asu got injured, until, obviously, um, Patty got injured in midfield, and then Ben White missed a couple of games, I think, because of COVID, and Tierney obviously got injured, and then we had to bring in Holding, we had to bring in Cedric Tavares, and then we started conceding a lot of goals in the second half of the season. But with all those guys fit, if they play every single game of the season, we are going to have the most clean sheets alongside Man City and Liverpool. Mark that, but the problem is how long are they going to stay fit? We need Zinchenko fit, we need Tierney fit. Saliba and Ben White, I'm not worried about. Ben White has played 50, 60 games at Leeds and Brighton. Saliba as well in his um, French teams. And Gabriel doesn't really get injured. Hopefully, I don't say that and then it happens. But they're really, really good in terms of um, staying fit. And then Odegaard had that chance. Now, can I talk about Odegaard? He needs to start shooting with his right foot because he really frustrates me and he gets chances and he doesn't shoot with his right foot. Everything else about him is perfect. His leadership is great. The way he gets into spaces is great. The way he opens up um, spaces in the middle in that number 10 position, great. But every time he gets the ball on his right foot, you have to shoot the ball or they get you. That was a chance. That was a chance. And that reminds me of who? Mesto Tozil. Yes, I appreciate you wanting to assist, but you have to try shooting with the right foot. That is one thing that I um, I complained about with Pepe. Pepe doesn't use his right foot a lot, but at least he does sometimes. But Odegaard, he never uses his right foot, like not at all. Like even he was almost by himself and he didn't even try to shoot. He tried to pass the ball and tried to flick it on. So I didn't really like that at all. He needs to start using his right foot. And that is why his um, player rating uh, and the player ratings, have, it's taken a hit there because he needs to start shooting the ball. That was a chance. And then after that, Ben White picked up a yellow card. I mean, as we said, marking those guys is difficult. Playing against um, Zaha, playing against all those guys is difficult. You're going to, they're going to get past you a couple of times. But in terms of just overall play, he was very good. It was just then that he struggled. But apart from that, Ben White was great. So he picked up that yellow card. And then in the 71st minute, he actually did make another very, very good block, um, Ben White. And he actually, you actually can't tell that he's not a right back. Like if this is your first time watching Arsenal, you'd actually think Ben White is a right back. I don't think you'd um, think he's not a right back because he's very comfortable playing in that position. Very, very good. And uh, at Brighton, he used to play as a right back, a right full back as well, a right like right wing back, and he was playing it comfortably. And with Saliba next to him, even when players get past past him you're sure that um, Saliba is next to him, no problem. And Saka's energy as well, coming back and helping out, very, very good to see. Man, compare that with um. With five years ago and you had someone like Debushi there or Lichsteiner, terrible, absolutely terrible. And then we made subs. I was waiting for subs. I knew we weren't going to make five subs, but we eventually made a couple. Zinchenko, uh, the Manstee boys went off and Ketty and Tierney came on. Uh, basically, um, I don't know if that, that, that is how Ketty is going to be used this season just a couple of times. I don't know, like a couple of minutes. I'm sure he's going to be coming on earlier than that. But today, I think Jesus was okay. He didn't score, but um, what rating would you give Jesus for today, even though he didn't score? Like, he thought his energy was perfect and everything. What would you Do you think he did well? Or do you think um, the guys who are saying it's only preseason were right? Do you think he disappointed today? Do you think he did great? I think he did great still. I think he did uh, very good. Like, the way he dribbled past five, six players at the same time. And, like, you can tell. You can tell the player who's just come from Man City. And then, finally, we got our second goal because I was very, very worried. Like, those last minutes, they were, they were actually controlling the game. 
we are picking up yellow cards, giving away the ball a couple of times. But we finally got that second goal. Okara Saka finishing it off. Things you love to see. Okay, didn't finish it off. Guay finished it off for us, but Saka's job as always. And that counts as an assist in FPL, not really in the game and not really in the Premier League. But hey, job done. 2 0 against Crystal Palace. I'm not going to complain at all. Last season, we got smacked 3 0. We didn't even score a goal. The game was over in the first half this time. I just will be smiling. You saw how happy he was, how happy the assistant was. They definitely will be smiling. We are up there, top of the table in the first game of the season. And now, after you've won against Crystal Palace, now the other games I'm looking at them, Leicester at home, Fulham at home, Bournemouth away, Aston Villa at home. We have, we have the next four games, three of them are at home. Like, there's no reason we shouldn't at least get wins. Like, I had said like 13 points out of 15 is okay, but we've beaten Crystal Palace. We need to win the games we are supposed to win. We definitely need to win the games we're supposed to win. Let's see how that one goes. So let, we'll come to the player ratings. Let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. How happy are you guys, man? How happy are you? I am absolutely buzzing. Um, Cookie says, uh, looked incredible from the first um, 30. Both teams then had a lot of attempts, and I thought there was there was a good chance with you today. I thought maybe they would get a goal. Just about script by and um, Saka helps make that 2 0 and confirm the win. Things you love to see. Um, Jesus was electric, unlucky not to get a goal or assist. Zinchenko and him linked up a few times, and Zini was passing balls like a mini De Bruyne. So maybe he's the real De Bruyne. Maybe De Bruyne is the fake Zinchenko. Um, Saliba was a rock at the back as well. Absolutely, man. What a guy, man. Like I said, like I'll definitely be honest. I said I don't think Saliba will ever play for Arsenal. I didn't think they'd get along with Ateta. I'm happy they're getting along, man. What a guy, man. What a defender. So you guys who said Saliba is great, you're definitely 100% right. Like seeing him playing in the Premier League first game, it looked very easy for him. Um, Anu says the win is very sweet. Absolutely. Um, the three debutants were alongside and uh, alongside Saka and Matilia, our best five today. Ramsey was far from perfect, to be honest. But if it wasn't for Ramsdale, the game would have been won one long time ago, man. Like those saves, very, very crucial for him. He made some crucial saves. Um, that's three points um, to our backline, says Sadiki. Uh, those guys defended very, even Patty in midfield was really, really good. Um, but also the forward players like Jesus and Saka did not let, uh, let um, those guys rest at all. Not at all, like they were busy throughout the game. The reason why a player scores an on goal is because the pressure is too much. Saliba clean sheet says uh, Bernard. Um, I got 17 points from this game. I know, man, you're lucky, man. You had Zinchenko. Jesus was brilliant, just didn't contribute. Saka wasn't the best either. Zini got me a decent nine points. I don't know if he, I think he's going to get bonus points or something. Tactical, man, nice seeing you. He says revenge is sweet, yeah? Come on, you Gunners. Saliba was sensational. Ranjil was amazing. Ben was solid. Jaka was great. Jesus with Thierry on rerun. Getting past five, six players, man. Ramsey was so good, it looked shaky with the ball at his feet um, too many times. I mean, I'll just give him an off for today because it's the first game of the season. But uh, from here now onwards, he needs to be a bit more careful because you don't really want to give um, the other players, um, the other team, a, a, a goal like that when you're leading and enjoying the game. And nothing was... I knew, like, when you scored one goal and the first half was a one nil at halftime, that defense looked very solid. And I was like, as long as you just keep concentration, they won't score a goal. I was, uh, we saw against Chelsea in the friendly. Those guys were saying it's only a friendly. You saw an example of that against Chelsea, against Everton, against Sevilla. Those guys playing, there's no one who's going to score a goal and it happened today. Everton and Chelsea, the teams we played in the in the friendly matches are Premier League teams. They're not crap teams. Um, let's see. This is a sweet, tasty, and yummy revenge, says Anu. You can tell Anu is happy. And the trolls on Twitter saying Jesus is a flop. Whatever they want to say, man. Um, he, I mean, if you watch the game today, there's no way you can say that. He doesn't have to score every day. I, I said he's going to get double figure in terms of assists as well because I expect him to contribute in terms of playmaking. Um, and that is great. We don't. Uh, I don't. I don't need my player to score 50 goals and then the others get two, three each. No. If my player get 10 goals, 12 goals, 13 goals, another one gets eight. I'm happy still. Um, I thought um, when Ayu blocked um, the ball out from the back, I legit thought it was about to go in, but it is the first game. Martin was shaky, definitely. However, um, I wasn't bad. I mean, he didn't give away the ball or anything, but I'm saying in terms of um, being more clinical up front, he needs to be more clinical. He needs to shoot with his right foot. He gets so many chances and he, and, um, he doesn't use his right foot and he needs to start doing that. Um, Jesus was phenomenal. He will be scoring very soon. He will score in the next game. Do not worry about that. Um, Bernard, uh, today it was all about getting the win. I didn't care who was going to score. Jesus had a good game. He's, 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 he wasn't average. He wasn't below average. Like Jesus today alone, wasn't he better than um, 
Lacazette was the entire of la entirety of Lazio. Let's be honest. Um, good game, uh, says Bernard. We need to win our next three and then hopefully also win against Villa and uh, fight for a draw uh, versus United. I mean, United is very far. Let's just concentrate on this first um, couple of games. Um, Koki says, by was it just that the referee today wasn't giving anything for either team? There's a couple of times I thought he was going to give penalties, but as the Chelsea fans usually say, Anthony Taylor was the referee when we won the two FA Cup finals against um, Chelsea. So I guess he's a, a bit of good luck um, for us. I'll come to the rest of the comments. Let me do the player ratings. Help me out with the player ratings. I am going to start with the goalkeeper. I know he made a couple of mistakes, but he didn't cost us a goal. He has to get an eight, man. Like those saves, that save from um, Eduard in that second half save right um, after halftime, it could have been 2-1 to Crystal Palace either side of um, halftime. They could have got, uh, got a goal before halftime and another goal after halftime. So it could have been 2-1 to them and he made the crucial save. So he gets an eight for today. I don't know if you guys agree. Let me know if you agree. But the save is absolutely crucial in a clean sheet in the first game. Ramsdale loves a clean sheet. Ramsdale definitely loves a clean sheet. So nothing to complain about apart from the kicking. He needs to do better there, but uh, saving great leadership as always great. So I'm trying to use. He looks. He looked like he wasn't ready for the season a couple of times. You know, when you look at someone, and you can tell he's guilty. He looked very guilty when he gave away the ball. Um, the next one is um, Zinchenko. I've given I've given Zinchenko an eight. I've given Zinchenko an eight for today. Um, I mean, he did did he do anything wrong really? He's, he got an assist. He kept a clean sheet. Um, he was very good in terms of defending against um, Jordan Ayew. Maybe if he got past him, maybe once. Apart from that, he was absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to give Zinchenko an eight for today. What a debut. What a Premier League debut. You cannot complain about that at all. And you can see the quality. If you sign players, um, quality players, you get the quality in return. But if you sign players for one million, you're going to get exactly that. Remember, Ranason, if you sign a player for one million, you're going to get exactly that in return. But Zinchenko today... Fantastic. Eight for him. Um, Saliba. I've given Saliba nine, man. What, what the hell, man? What, what was that performance, man? It seems like he's been playing here for 10 years. What a player, man. Tackling. 10 out of 10. The pace, 10 out of 10. There's a time um, Ben White, um, I think Zaha ran past Ben White. And good for Ben White not to foul him because he was on a yellow card. And then Saliba just made a crucial tackle before the referee gave a free kick. Not for that challenge, but for a challenge before. That tackle from Saliba was immense. In the first half, the clearances, like they were getting past Gabriel and then they were meeting, um, obviously, this guy. I mean, last season and the other two seasons, they were getting, they were getting past Gabriel and then they would meet um, someone like um, a Chambers or something. They're like, ah celebration we're going to get a goal this time he gets past gabriel there's saliba there there's ramsil there i cannot complain at all saliba gets a nine and i'm thinking i want to give him man of the match i guess i i cannot fault that performance that was his debut away from home not away from home against a full i'm not disrespect to them against a crystal palace that is very tough to play against they beat uh, they drew it man City there last season they trashed us there they trashed tottenham there they beat man united there i mean there's no it's not an easy ground to go to um the, those players they, they have a lot of flair players like zaha i don't know where olise was today but as all those guys are very quick, they're, they're no joke, man. Um, ben White, um, he got a yellow card. Uh, that's why he doesn't get a nine or something like Saliba. But I could easily give him a nine. If I was giving halves, I would give him 8.5. But dealing with Zaha the entire game, <laughs> 20, 30 times he tried to dribble past him, maybe succeeded twice or something. He has to get a way above an eight. I mean, if someone complains about Ben White from today, that they're, they're trying to reach that, that that is not being fair. If you complain about Ben from last season, you can say yes, a couple of games are terrible, but he was he was not our biggest problem last season. Ben White is still a good defender. And I, as I said, with Saliba coming in, I don't think it's as easy as Ben White drops to the bench. I actually think Atta is kind of a bit relieved not that Tomias is injured, but that he doesn't have to make that decision right now because it would have been so hard for him to just leave Ben White on the bench or leave Saliba on the bench. Look at both of them on the pitch at the same time. Absolutely immense, man. Like Clinch is almost guaranteed. If you have them on the pitch at the same time, clinches are guaranteed. So Ben White gets an eight for today. Amazing performance for, from him as well. Marking Zaha out of the game. Those guys are predicting 3-1 Crystal Palace. Zaha's two goals. Nah, not with Saliba and Ben White. They're not at all. Ben White gets an eight. Um, Gabriel. Gabriel is the next player. I have given him an eight as well. I mean, you cannot fault the defense at all. I've given three of them eights and one of them nine, but could easily have nine for all of them. Uh, but Gabriel, a couple of times, he could have given away a penalty, a bit shaky. Not his mistake, but um, 
needs to be more um, aware, but it's good. I know it's one of our best defenders. I know you cannot replace Gabriel. Like, there's no way. I had someone saying maybe you could see Salib and Bayern right together. No, Gabriel can never leave this team unless he's injured or suspended, especially that the fact that he's a left-footed centre-back. He'll start all 38 games as long as he's fit. He's definitely not going to leave that team. And what an immense performance from him as well. We only allowed them maybe two good chances. And um, something I forgot to talk about, Ben White, There's a, that, that's chance that um, Chris Palace had in the second half. Ben White was out of position. I don't know where he was, but Oligard was in the right back position and they passed the ball through him very easily. And that's how they created the second chance. But apart from that, cannot complain at all. So the defense, uh, they get an average of like 8.5 today. Absolutely fantastic. Midfielders, hmm, granite jacker, diving. You get a minus one straight away for diving. But apart from that, I mean, solid in midfield. Didn't really. There's a couple of times you watch Xhaka and uh, Nene together, sometimes with Patton. You're like, where the hell was the midfield today? You could see them. Like, Crystal Palace are not just getting past the midfield that easily. Um, he was okay, apart from the diving and complaining and arguing. And also playing with a yellow card. You know, Jacques, playing with a yellow card the entirety of the second half. We are even lucky him to get a red card. So, I am going to give him a seven for today. Apart from the diving, he was good. And I don't think he's going to be dropped from that team anytime soon. Um, Party eight, man. Straight eight for Thomas Party. Very solid in midfield, could easily have been a nine. I was actually thinking about giving him a nine. They did not get past him. The clear was getting in the box, clearing the ball, pushing forward, he was opening spaces. I don't think anyone did anyone get past the uh, party today. I don't think he lost a battle at all. I'll look at the stats later in a different video, but today I cannot complain at all. Man, you can tell if Pat is not in that team, you're in big, big trouble. Big, big trouble. And what, what, a, what a change last season in this game, he got stabbed off with an injury this time. He, he, he probably gets almost man of the match alongside Saliba and uh, the other defenders. Very, very good. He gets an 80. He has to be there. I really hope he keeps fit. Because if Party stays fit for 38 games and he stays available for 38 ga games, hopefully nothing happens apart, uh, other than the injury, he, we are going to get top four automatically. He's very, very good in that midfield. Quality, man. Quality. It's just the injuries that have ruined him. Uh, Martin Odegaard. Martin Odegaard, I have given him a seven. Um created maybe one or two chances but he got a couple of opportunities to shoot the ball and he tried to cut back to his left foot and that you cannot do that just try to shoot the ball in the in the first minute of the game he got the ball on the right side and he tried to pass the ball to Saka and he lost the possession just try to shoot the ball in the new season first five minutes you get a chance just try something. Just try to shoot the ball. Just try to test the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is not ready. He's not warm yet. Just try something. But he was trying to pass. And then in the second half, when he had that chance to shoot the ball, he passed it. He tried to pass it again. And that was an open chance for him. So apart from that, I'm going to give him a seven. I know it's going to be better than this. I mean, right away from the next game, don't be surprised if it's a nine from him. You know he's going to open up spaces. But today seven for him mostly because of um not taking the chances in terms of shooting the ball um the forward players um gabriel martinelli gets an eight he scored a goal um it's going to be a big season for him i know he's going to get goals i know he's going to get assists very very good player um and luckily he's, he's it's, it seems like he's recovered 100 percent from that injury that was affecting him two years ago he's recovered from there every time Martinelli or Party go down. I'm like, uh, I hope it's not an injury because I'm afraid, like scared every time Martinelli goes down. But it doesn't seem like that. It seems like he's recovered fully. It seems like he's ready to play another full season. Like Larson didn't play uh, the whole season, right? Um, Smith Rowe's playing the first part of the campaign. This is Martinelli could play every single game. And I asked in the match builder for the guys who aren't there, do you think Smith Rowe will get a bit frustrated because uh, Martinelli will be playing every single game? Will Smith Rowe get a bit frustrated with um, the lack of... I know he's going to play sometimes in the Europa League, but maybe he wants to play in the Premier League because of the, of the World Cup coming up. I don't know, because Matuelli is looking very, very good. Got, an, uh, got a goal in his first game. Cannot complain about that. Eight for him. Opened the first goal of the Premier League season. That will always go down to the, in the record book. So, well done to him. Bukayo Saka also gets an eight. Um, I think... I think I think I think they're a bit equal. Martinelli got a goal, but I think in terms of um, the whole game as a 90, I think they're a bit equal. Saka gets an eight. Um, he got he helped us with the second goal, and he's always a threat. The defenders are always um, busy when Saka and Martinelli are around, and that is why I love the two players. Cannot complain about Saka at all. Once again, he's one of the first players in your team, and those two players deserve a new contract. Saka and Martinelli, please, we, we are not supposed to be joking around. Bellerin gets more than hundred thousand a week. Torreira was getting more than hundred thousand 
thousand a week. Give that money to Saka and Martinelli. If they're happy with like eighty to hundred thousand, I'll be very very happy. Those are the players who deserve it, man. So Saka gets an eight for today. Really really good once again. Um, did he make any errors or anything? I I mean, he did miss a couple of shots. I know that. Uh, in the second half, he did get a couple of chances and shot off target. But he's a threat. He's a massive threat. And then Gabriel Jesus, yes, yes, he didn't score as people have been saying. But that run in the first half, just the way he's just putting the defenders, like the defenders have to work so hard. They have to foul him. The referee didn't give us a couple of free kicks where you're supposed to give us. Um, Jesus just battling it out. And he's a, he's a busy guy. He's not like, I mean, I said, like I said, like, let's not um, say like I said, Obama were terrible players. In the, fa- the first two seasons they were at Arsenal, they were very, very good. Like that 2018-2019 season, they almost single-handedly carried us to the Europa League final. Obama and Lacazette were very, very good that season. Lately, though, they weren't that good. And Lacazette, yes, he will hold up the ball and then give it to the wingers to suck a and then wait for a cutback. But Jesus, he will run to midfield. He will run to the left side, to the right side. He will win you a couple of free kicks, relax, um, take a, 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 a bit of time away from the clock. Very, very good, man. And I'm, I have no doubt he's going to score the goals. When he starts scoring, as you saw, he's going to score every single game. And uh, I would I would love to bet on it. He'll score in the next game 100%. So really, really good to see. I'm going to give him an 8. Um, I've given him an 8, but... Martinelli and Saka's eights are higher than his, and uh, so it's a, it's an eight basically heading to a seven point five. I think um, I think Martinelli, I, I think the defenders were all better than everyone else. I think Pate was better than Jesus today. Um, Saka and Martinelli were almost the same. The forward players just needed to take their chances when they came, um, and they worked hard as well. So Saka gets uh, Jesus gets an eight, Martinelli gets an eight, Saka gets an eight. Bench players do you really need to do, do the bench players that aren't on for so long. So Nketia, uh, standard five, Tierney, um, standard five, and Lokonga was on for like one minute, so standard five for him as well. Now the manager. The manager, they asked him very, very hard questions yesterday in the press conference. They were trying to pressurize him. They asked him, first game of the season, are Arsenal ready this time around, or is it going to be a, a chaos like last season? And he said, no, we will see Crystal Palace is a tough game, but I feel like we are ready this time around. Yes, it looked like we were ready, especially the first 10 minutes of that game. We exploded really, really well, um, created a few chances. Um, the subs, I felt like he waited a bit long for the subs, 82nd minutes, I mean, but... Uh, can you really say that? Because we kept a clean sheet. Um, I don't think the they obviously can't sub off the defenders. I wouldn't even have taken off Zinchenko, but anyways, Tierney coming on is not a problem. Um, the forward players, I don't think I had any problem with them. Maybe who do you really take? Do you really bring in Pepe when you're leading one nil? No, that is suicidal. You need someone who needs to work. So maybe a Lokonga should have come in earlier, come on earlier in the last like, 20 minutes just for energy in midfield. But hey, we got a clean sheet. We opened up this season with a 2 0 victory. The new players that uh, people have been talking about um, have done well. Zinchenko, clean sheet assist. Jesus, very, very hardworking, very, very good player today as well. He didn't get a goal, but um, one of our, our top players again today. No one played poorly today. Saliba, that just, just allowing Saliba to come back to the team. Very, very good. Remember what I said last time? Remember this? Ateta was not hiding the was not hiding Saliba from the Premier League. He was hiding the Premier League from Saliba. He was scared for the Premier League. He was not scared for Saliba or anything or all those things we are talking about. No. He was actually scared that no one will ever score a goal if Saliba is there. So he was trying to protect the Premier League. Like, you know, Premier League is the best league in the world in everything. Both teams usually score a goal. If you have Saliba there, the other team doesn't score a goal. So I was trying to protect protect the Premier League's name by keeping Saliba away from here. He was not he was not he was not having any problem with Saliba. He was just trying to protect the Premier League from Saliba. Did you see him today? I mean, do we even need to talk about him, man? What a what a performance, man! Absolutely crazy. Um, let's see. <sighs> I'll come to the rest of the comments. Anu says Ramsdale seven, um, Zinchenko eight, Ramsdale seven, um, Ramsdale seven. I think that is a bit low, man. The game should have been 1-1 if it was not for him. Like, they should have scored. It was point-blank saves, both of them. Those are two saves. I think he should get higher than that because of that. If it, if he hadn't made those mistakes, I would have been giving him a 9. So I've already, I've already removed that one mark for giving away the ball a couple of times to an 8. So I think he was very good. He basically got us, um, he, kept the, he, he kept the clean sheet team and Saliba. Uh, the entire defense did well, but the couple of times they got past um, the defense, 
he was there to save the shot. So you can say he definitely helped there. Uh, Zinchenko, 8, Saliba, 10 from Anu. You know what? I have, I, I'd not even argue with that. I think I don't think he made any errors. Um, Anu says 8 for White. Um, Gabi gets an 8. Um, let me see if my players, my Arsenal players on the bench, and I put my punk players in, do I get all the... No, you can't do that, um, Olivier. Um, Cookie says Saliba nine. I've seen Ben White eight, Gabriel eight, Patty eight, Jaka six, um, Odegaard six. Um, do you think Odegaard is a six or do you think um, it should be higher than that? If I uh, um, Matili nine, Saka eight, Jesus eight, Atita nine, fair enough. Um, Anu, um, Cookie, uh, Ben as well. So, see what you guys were saying. Um, waiting for the next game already, absolutely, man. It comes in the next, um, so we have to wait more than a week, though, eight days from now. It's going to be on that Saturday against Leicester. I'm confident, man. Leicester have not signed a player yet, man. We should be beating them. We beat them home and away last season. And Cookie says Leicester win, Bournemouth win, Fulham win, Villa win. Uh, if it goes on that way, man, we are winning the league, Cookie. Um, United draw, Everton win would ideally be our start. Then after that, at least you can actually um, be happy to lose a couple of games at least because we've won the most crucial games. Uh, this was a very big game. The first game was only need to win. Um, Saliba, man of the match, says Anu. Um, how are you, John, man? John says, hi, Glenn. Hope you're well. Uh, great start to the season. Great work great from the players. That was perfect from all, all the players as well. And our manager is doing the right thing. Everyone going in the right um, way. Enjoy the season. Um, enjoy the season all. Now, just imagine from that team that we had today. Now, just imagine if you add, oh, my goodness, if you add Milinkovic, Savage, or Tillemans to that team, oh, my goodness. Like, just upgrade that bench. Just let's, let's assume Jacques is on the bench. And then you have Tilliman starting. And then let's imagine Fabio Vera is back. Smith Rowe is back. Um, Tieni, Tomiyasu is back, sorry. That is a very strong team, man. Five subs allowed. You need everyone very, very good. So if you have a bench of Tieni or Zinchenko, and then you have Tomiyasu there, and then you have um, the, the spirit, the good spirit of El Nini the last five minutes, you have Mkete if he starts firing again. He did well, he didn't get a lot of minutes today. If you have Pepe for once, trying to fire as well, speed throw there, Fabio Vieira. We are looking good, we are looking good. So this is an I'm confident that we can go very far in the Europa League as well. Also because the goalkeeper that we signed is a penalty expert. So whenever we go to penalties in the FA Cup or Carabao Cup, Matt Tanner can really help us in that as well. So that was a good buy as well in terms of cup competitions. Um, yeah, as John says, don't forget Ramsell saved us a goal too. Two of them. First half against Edward and second half, I think it was Eze. He had two very point-blank saves, actually, not just um shots from um 30 yards out or anything. No. Um, John says, just get behind the team and support them even through the games we don't win. We'll get top four. City and Liverpool, we can sort them next season. So you all enjoy. So John is very positive. Um, Olu says we can't rely on Xhaka. That is, that is true. I mean, I think many people would agree. He will cost us. We need to get a proper midfielder that will replace Xhaka. This is just an honest opinion. I think a lot of people will agree with you. Um, now, I don't think Xhaka will be sold, right? but if he's coming from the bench for the last 20 minutes, it's okay. But starting and depending on him, not sure, man. But it's a tough game. Let's see. I mean, Ramsey was not perfect as well, as someone said, and um, Odegaard was not perfect. It could be just the first game. Let's see the next game. Uh, we can't rely. Um, he, Olu was not happy he sent that message 10 times. Um, Wright says, I had Arsenal 2-0. Uh, Who is your man of the match? Saliba, 100%, man. Um, no mistakes. Like, literally flawless performance. I've given him a 9 because a 10 is very hard. You need to... If he scored a goal, you'd get a 10 or something like that. But he was perfect, man. Like, you can't really say anything wrong from today, man. If he plays like that every single game, we are going to keep a lot of clinches. Last season, um, correct me if I'm wrong, we conceded 40-something goals. That is a lot. Actually, the previous season before last, we conceded less goals than last season. So we actually... Um, our, 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 goal, um, our goal difference, I think, our goal difference went up because it scored more goals, but we considered more goals than the previous campaign. I know I we kept a lot of clinches in the first half of the season, but in the second half, because of the injuries, I think that definitely affected us. And we we got hammered in the last parts of the season. Um, so you guys agree, man? Let me check your man of the match. See, um, almost 300 votes. Um, Saliba gets 
um, how much for Salah? Like 63% for Saliba. You guys have given Saliba man of the match, 63%. Closely followed by Ramsdale, 18%. Closely followed by Zinchenko, 13%. And closely, Saliba was way off. And uh, any other player, 5%. So who's the any other player you guys think should be getting one of the match? Jesus? Ben White? Ben White was really good. I liked Ramirez. Uh, Ramsdale saves today, says Edward. Very good, very crucial. He basically kept the game at 1-0. He might not have won us the game, but he kept the game at um at, at 1-0 and at 2-0. So he did very, very well. I cannot complain at all. And what a way to start the season, man. Um, Everyone stood out. Saliba gets one of the match. We've given everyone... Let me just go through. Let me recap those um, player rating. I've given Ramsey Land 8, Zinchenko 8, Gabriel an 8, Saliba 9, Ben White an 8. Yeah, you can tell we won the game, can you? Um, Pate an 8, Jaka 7, Odegaard 7, Saka 8, Martinelli 8, Jesus 8. So most of you have agreed on Jesus rating. Martinelli's rating. Um, some of you have given Odegaard a six instead of a seven. Um, some of you have given Jack a six instead of a seven. Some of you have given Saliba a ten instead of a nine. But most of the others, you agree, Ramsdale's, Gabriel, and all those, really, really good. And can can Zaha stop diving, man? Like Zaha is a very good player, but they're complaining in the diving every single time. Really annoys me. But hey, I do not care about Zaha. These are the guys I care about: Martinelli, Jesus, Jack. If they all play well, we are going to do very, very well. Three points, man. Hit the like button if you're happy. Let's keep the same out for the next game. We will be back with more updates and more videos on this one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.